Rebuilding a very old horizontal steam engine and it's part 17. This one's about the cylinder cladding and the steam fittings on the cylinder. The first thing to do is to remove the exhaust manifold. I haven't made a gasket for this yet. Oh, and it's stuck to the paint. What a surprise. So I'll break the seal by using a sharp knife. I've just bought a few of these. These are modern fittings and they are metric. And I'm really sorry about this, but... By using modern fittings, this allows the engine to be piped up to a boiler very cheaply and economically, using commercially available fittings that can be bought from plumber's merchants. All I had to do was make a 1 8 BSP adapter and then silver solder it into the union nut, which then allowed me to fit the modern component onto an old thread form. While I was at the plumber's merchants, I bought this piece of new old stock and it's ideal for a steam inlet. Normally I use industrial grade cyanoacrylate adhesive but I ran out of it so I had to buy this from a local supplier. I need it for sticking all the pieces of cladding together and then sticking them to the cylinder. I'm not going to labour this point, it's very tedious, very boring but you get the general idea by watching the video. Once the cyanoacrylate adhesive has dried, or super glue as it's called on this little tube, then I would use a small grinder to tidy up the end. This is a small drum sander fitted into my mini drill and I use these things a lot. They really are useful things to have. So once I was happy with the shape of the first piece of cladding, I stuck it in place. I'm also using pieces of wood across the cylinder to support the cladding. This makes for a much better job and will stop the cladding warping when the cylinder gets warm. This is quite a straightforward job. Put the pieces in position, coated in super glue and tap them into place with a soft hammer. This soft hammer sounds like a machine gun because the video is of course speeded up. If you get any gaps in the wood, don't worry too much. However hard you try, you will get some gaps between the wood. The wood's not bound to be accurate as it's old stuff. But all you have to do is fill the gap with some cyanoacrylate adhesive, then using some coarse sandpaper, rub over the gap, and the sawdust made by the sandpaper will stick to the cyanoacrylate adhesive, therefore filling the gap. Always give the pieces of wood a liberal coating of cyanoacrylate. It doesn't matter if it gets on the top surface, the final sanding will clean it off easily. Like you see here at the moment, sometimes this can be a very fiddly job. You have to keep your patience, and if the parts all drop on the floor, pick them up and start again. Once all of the mahogany is in place around the cylinder, use some cyanoacrylate adhesive on the gaps, and then the sandpaper method to make it look good. And don't worry if you have to fill a gap more than once, sometimes it's not possible to get it the first time through. And here you can clearly see the wood particles filling the gap. When all the gaps are initially filled, it's time to go outside and use an orbital sander to finish off the job. And then you need some of this, this is what I normally use, ultra tough hard glaze varnish. It's really good stuff, and I apply it with a cloth. You can apply it with a brush, but you will find it's better if you wipe it on and off with a cloth. That way it doesn't look like it's been blathered in varnish. It looks like this. More of an oil finish, and there are some nice dirty marks on the wood. It does not look like it's just been made. Don't forget these are sympathetic restorations. As you can see, some of the paint has been damaged by the sanding process. This is no big problem. I'll put that right with some touch-up paint. I still need to make a gasket for the exhaust manifold. Here I'm just assembling it loosely to see what it's going to look like. Here I'm fitting the steam chest. This is not a permanent fixture, I'm just loose fitting to see what it's going to look like. And it's looking pretty good really. There's not much more to do. I'm quite looking forward to finishing this now. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful.